Hello guys and welcome back to new Applied Energy 6.2 tutorial and in this episode we want to take a look at the Capacity card and the Capacity card needs uh, a status quartz crystal and a basic card and you can also see on the uh, recipe on the wall and now out of this we get a Capacity card and I will show you how the Capacity card is working. But then we go to a uh, ME export bus and because we also um, need to um, need to use a whitelist on the, the X, ME export bus and because we need to set up a material on the X, export bus so that our inventory system is exporting this material or this uh, item. And um, if I place in some diamond ore, you can see nothing happens with this diamond ore because it isn't configured on the ME export bus. Um, to con configure stone as well as diamond, we need uh, to use a capacity card. So we now we are able to use uh, five items, and with the uh, second capacity card, we uh, can we can use it till to nine items. So um, that means if I configure now a diamond and my other ores uh, which I have in my inventory, we can um, see what happens. And now I will give this items back, okay? And we can see, actually we have, we can also set up some uh, scheduling modes. So in this case, we actually, we have export items in random mode. If we take a look, we can see we have a completely random exporting mode. And um, we can also use the export the first item until the network is empty. Okay, the first item, um, whatever it is, okay, in this case it's uh, actually gold, okay. And we can also set it to um, the round robin mode, so it will go through each um, um, filtered um, item. So we can see, okay, one ore, one iron ore, one gold ore, one diamond ore, and so on. And um, that's how uh, the Capital City card is working. Thanks for watching. You can also install it on the import export bus, the fluid import export bus, the storage bus, the fluid storage bus, and at least the ME formation plane. Thanks for watching and bye.